Robert Jones is finally out of prison. <laughs> to be with all his family for the first time in more than 23 years. Among those he was reunited with, his mother, his sister, and the daughter born after he was jailed. A judge ruled he could be released pending a retrial after it was found his original prosecution wasn't fair. Robert, a quick word, how are you feeling? Oh man, I feel great, I feel good. I you must have been it. thinking about this moment for a long time. Yes, I was thinking, I've been thinking about it for many years. Uh, but I'm glad it's, it's finally come to this day, you know, so the wheel of justice turns slow, but it turns. In April 1992, a series of violent crimes were committed in New Orleans. The same attacker described each time. One of the crimes was the killing of the British tourist, Julie Stott, after which police received a tip and arrested Robert Jones. Even though another man was eventually convicted of the murder and had compelling evidence linking him to all the crimes, Robert Jones was tried too. Last month, the original judge in that trial was among those who told us prosecutors withheld key favorable evidence that led to Robert being sent to prison as well. The fact that he was wrongly convicted and is in jail for something arguably he didn't do weighs heavily on me. But Robert Jones remained behind bars until now. See, for instance, there's a guy that put out a pistol, robbed somebody and killed somebody. And you look at him as a cold-blooded murderer, okay? But here you have a district attorney that takes and withhold favorable evidence from a guy, take his life, send him to prison, and most guys, they die in prison, they're innocent people, all right? So what, what's the difference? Who's the murderer, who's not the murderer? And Robert talked of others he knew he believed were also innocent who never did get out. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot. I watched a lot of guys die in prison. That's, that's another added thing that actually gave me the strength to fight for a lot of those guys too. I mean, I watched a lot of them, a lot of them. Who I know is actually innocent. I'm talking about they died, died in prison. And though he's now reunited with his family, he does still face a fight. In spite of the original detectives and a judge now standing by him, and of all he's been through, the state is still insisting he endure a retrial. Aline McBool, BBC News, in New Orleans.